Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at the various business forms or various business structure that you could operate under if you're running a business in the United States. You need to know this for the CPA exam, the characteristics of each business, the advantages, the disadvantages, an overview of these form of businesses. And there are seven form of businesses that you could operate under. Sole proprietorship, a general partnership, limited partnership, limited liability partnership for limited liability company five, C corporation six, and S corporation seven. We're gonna look at these form of businesses and overview of certain characteristic, number of owners, legal entity, business taxation, business life, liability of owners, is there any paperwork required? In other words, to start the business, the formation of the business. Let's go ahead and get started by looking at the number of owners. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. For sole proprietorship, how many owners you would have? Well, by the word sole, sole means one, one owner. You have one owner for sole proprietorship. Sole proprietorship is the easiest form of business to start. You just start your business. You put up a sign, I want to uh, file income tax return, I can help you paint your home, mow your grass, whatever business you want to be in, repair your computers, plumber, whatever you want to do, you don't need to do anything, just start the business. General partnership, the, the mere fact it says a partnership, it means you need more than one person, two or more individual for a partnership, same thing with the joint venture, joint venture, you're joining with someone else. Limited partnership, partnership, two or more. Limited liability partnership, two or more. Limited liability company, LLC. LLC is you could have one owner or many owners. C corporation, you could have one owner or millions of owners. S corporation, you could have one owner of the S corporation or up to 99 owners. And once you learn about S corporation, you would learn about the 99 owners, up to 99 owners. Now, legal entities. Is sole proprietorship a legal entity? And the answer is no. As far as the law, the, the business is the persons themselves. So it's not a legal entity. It's the person is the business. A general partnership, also general partnership, is a no for a legal entity. Think of a general partnership, and we're going to talk about general partnership a little bit later. General partnership is a bunch of sole proprietorship together. Limited partnership, yes, limited partnership, you're going to have to have a, a legal entity, especially for the limited partners. So there is a legal entity. Limited liability partnership, limited liability partnership, the same thing. You're going to have a legal entity. Limited liability company, company, yes, will have a legal entity. C corporation will have its own legal entity and S corporation will have its own legal entity. Let's talk about business taxation. How is the income from the business taxed. Is the business taxed? And the answer is for sole proprietorship, no. So you're saying it's tax free. No, 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 it's not tax free. What I'm saying is this. Once the business generate revenues minus expenses gets the profit, the profit goes to the sole proprietorship. The profit goes to the owner. That one owner paid the taxes. The business itself don't pay the taxes. How about a general partnership? Same concept. The business is not taxed. We generate revenues, we incur expenses, we have profit. The profit that we generate is distrib not distributed, is allocated to the partners. Same thing with the limited partnership. It is allocated to the partners. Same thing with the limited liability partnership. It's allocated to the partners. Same thing with limited liability company. It's allocated to the partners. So notice in all of those, the income, it's the, the business income is not taxed up until C corporation. When it comes to C corporation, C corporation, what's going to happen is this. We're going to have revenues minus expenses minus 
taxes. The business will have to pay taxes. Then we're going to have a profit. It's not only we're going to have a profit, the profit might be distributed to the owners. Then the owners pay taxes on the profit. So notice what's happening in a C corporation. The income is taxed. The income is taxed twice at the corporate level and at the individual level. This is a disadvantage of having a C corporation. The business is taxed twice. If we look at S corporation, S as in Sam, it's not. The business is the business is not taxed. The profit is just distributed. It's a, it's a pass through. It flows to the owner. It's a pass through entities. So the only place by default that the owners, that the business is taxed twice, a C corporation, we have what's called double taxation. And that's a disadvantage. That's a disadvantage for operating as a C corporation. Now you're going to see why. You're going to see why. Some people will operate under a C corporation. What's the benefit? Business life. When does the business end? Well, for a sole proprietorship, when the owner ends the business, either they die or if they can sell it, they can sell it and the life of the business is done. For a general partnership, it could end when partners decide, you know, that's it. We're going to dissolve this corporation or the partner, one of the partners, they can sell their interest. Now, when you sell your interest, generally speaking, you need anonymous consent by all partners if you're going to sell. In other words, when you sell it, you sell it to someone else to get in, to get admitted. You need anonymous consent. Same thing with a limited partnership. Same thing with limited liability partnership. Now, now again, when I say the same, it means overall, that's the general rule. In some state, they might have specific different rules, but overall, those are the rules. For LLC, LLC is basically a hybrid. We don't call the people, the owners partners. We call them members. Same concept. You, the members can end it or some members can sell their interest to someone else. For C corporation, you can sell your shares or your interest in a C corporation at will anytime. For example, if you own stocks in Coca-Cola or Walmart or Apple computers or Amazon, you can sell them. Those are C corporation. Same thing with S corporation. You can sell your interest at will, but for S corporation, you would learn later, it's you have the, the owner has to be a domestic shareholder. A domestic and domestic means US, uh, US shareholder. So this is the business life. Also within the business life, we can talk about who could manage the business. For example, a sole, propri sole proprietorship, the owner themselves manage the business. Or they can hire someone. You could have a business and hire someone. Same thing with a general. General partnership, usually the general partners, the GP, the general partners would run, manage the business. That's their job. Limited liability, usually the gen, not usually the general partners, because in a limited partnership, we have a general partners and we have limited partners. The limited partners, they should stay limited, silent. They don't get involved in management. Now, can the general partners also hire others to help them? Sure, they can, but usually they run the partnership. Limited liability partnership, usually, not usually, the partners, we're going to see why, the partners or most of them would run the partnership. The limited liability company, same concept. Some of the partners can run the partnership. They can hire other people as well. And a C corporation, a C corporation, you have the shareholders. The shareholders vote the board of directors who appoints the CEO. They hire managers and they run the company on their behalf. So you have management, man, assigned management. S corporation, um, depending how large it is, you could have one owner, one manager, one person responsible for everything. For example, my corporation is a C corporation. Uh, I'm sorry, my corporation is an S corporation. I am the I'm the sole owner and I run the business. I run the business by myself. Uh, or I can hire someone to run the business. I'm one owner. I can sell some of some, some of my share to someone else. It does not matter. Let's talk about liability of owners, liability of owners. Look, here's what you're going to see. If the, if the entity is not a legal entity, usually you will have unlimited liability. Unlimited liability means they can come after you personally for the debt of the business. Or in case the business is sued, you as an individual is responsible because the business is not a legal entity. Same thing for a general partnership, unlimited liability for the partners. Here, all we have is general partners, GPs. In a general partnership, we only have general partners. In a limited partnership, we have general partners and we have limited partners. The general partners will have unlimited liability, limited partners, 
by definitions, they're limited. They will have limited liability. And this is the basic difference, not the basic difference, one of the major difference between a general partnership and a limited partnership. In a limited partnership, you have partners who needs money. So they go to a partner and say, look, I need money to start the business, to grow this business. Would you, would you be willing to be my partner? And the partner would say, look, I have the money. I don't know much about your business and I don't want to take the risk of losing everything. I will go as a limited partner. As a limited partner, we're going to create, I'm going to create paperwork with the state. I'm going to have basically a, some sort of a, an entity to protect myself, a legal entity to protect myself. Therefore, my liability is limited to what I invested. This is for limited partners. Limited liability partnership, you are liable for your own negligence. So the partner, if they committed negligence, they are liable for their own negligence and for the people who they supervise. We'll talk about those, uh, about the limited partnership and limited liability partnership in a separate recording, but this is just an overview. Limited liability company, you are liable to the money you invested. C corporation, you are limited to the money that you invested. So this is the benefit of a C corporation is, yes, you get double taxation, but in case, in, in terms of liability, you are liable to the money that you invested. So if I own money in Amazon, Amazon is sued. How much can I lose? I'm an owner in Amazon. The money that I invested, they cannot come after me personally. S corporation, S corporation, also you are limited to the money invested. Hold on a second. Are you saying that S corporation, are you saying that S corporation you are taxed only once. Are you saying you are taxed once and you have limited liability? And the answer is yes. Yes. So that's why most businesses, most small businesses, look here, 99 shareholders are like mine, are operated as an S corporation because you are taxed once and you have limited liability. Same concept applies to LLC. Same kind of the same concept applies to LPs in a limited partnership. The similar concept applies to limited liability partnership. But corporation, C corp, uh, no, I'm sorry, not C, S corporation is the best example of taxed once, limited liability. Let's talk about the formation, paperwork required. Is paperwork required for a sole proprietorship? No. But before we proceed, so this is the advantage. So every time you have you have a limited liability in the form of a business, that's an advantage. Every time you have it, every every time you have a double taxation, it's a disadvantage. Just obviously, paperwork. Do you need to file paperwork as a sole proprietorship? No. One of the advantages of the sole proprietorship, it's easy to form. You can start your business this evening, this afternoon, tomorrow morning. General partnership, not needed, but recommended. So you don't need to have paperwork file, even a contract or paperwork between the partners, but it's recommended to have a paperwork. Do you have to file anything? No, just again, it's it's a sole proprietorship combined. Limited partners, yes. The limited partner, they'll have to file with the state to have that limited, remember they have a limited liability. Limit LLP, same thing, they have to file with the state because you have limited liability. Uh, LLP, same thing with LLC, you have to file with the state. C corporation, you have to file incorporate, uh, you have to incorporate with a particular state. S corporation, you have to file with the state. C and S corporation are basically very, very similar when you file and you select to be treated as, a, as an S corporation, but that's beside the point. But this is an overview of the various business structure that you will need to be familiar with when it comes to the CPA exam. So what you need to know is attribute features of each business. They might ask you, they might give you a description, what type of a business is this? What's an advantage or a disadvantage of certain businesses? I uh, need to know an overview. You wanna go to Farhat Lectures and look at multiple choice questions, previously released AI CPA questions. That's gonna help you understand these concepts better. I'm gonna go over these businesses, I mean, sole proprietorship, we went over it basically in this session, not much about it, but the other type of businesses, we're going to have a few sessions for each type to illustrate, to, to, to expand on what we are stating in this summary. Invest in yourself, study for the CPA exam, invest in yourself, it's worth it, good luck, and of course, stay safe.